Hi, first graders. Today we're going to be talking about when we get sick and how to get well. But before we begin our new topic today, let's do a little bit of review. So last time we talked about categories, right? A category is a group of things. So a category could be foods, and certain categories regarding foods could be uh, fruits and vegetables. And we could also have a category of games. Remember, we talked about hopscotch, hide and seek, um, jump rope, those are all games and activities, right? So a category is a group of things. We talked about specific categories, right? We talked about medicines. We talked about alcohol, okay? And we also talked about drugs, okay? Those are different categories. And remember, we want to stay away from um, alcohol and cigarettes and drugs, okay? Because that is not good for our bodies, right? Especially for children. Alcohol and cigarettes are not good for children, okay? They're extremely unhealthy. So that's what we talked about last time. So now let's go ahead and talk to Carmen for a little bit. Hi, Carmen. How are you? Hi, everybody. I'm feeling much better today. Thank you. Have you been sick, Carmen? Yes, I woke up yesterday morning and I ached all over. Even my whiskers hurt. So class, I want you to think right now. How do you feel when you're sick? What does the person who takes care of you do when you are sick? Well, you might have a stomach ache, right? Your head might hurt. Um, your body might ache like uh, Carmen's did. Okay, you might have a sore throat, you might have a cough. And our parents or grandparents or whoever we live with who takes care of us, they might give us medicine, they might make us some soup, and sometimes they might have to take us to the doctor in order to get certain type of medicine that we need. I went to see the vet. A vet is a doctor for cats and dogs, other animals too. She gave me some medicine. It didn't taste very good, but she said I needed it, so I took it with my tuna fish. Now I feel well again. That's awesome, Carmen. I'm glad you're feeling much better. Many times when we do not feel well, we may just need a nap or rest or eat something. We don't always need medicine. When we need medicine, we should always take it just the way our parent, grandparent, nurse, or doctor says. And if you're a cat, take medicine the way your veterinarian tells you to, okay? So that's important. We only take medicine when we have permission to take it, and we want to make sure we're taking what we need, okay? What the doctor tells us to take, okay? We don't want to take more than what we need, okay? Okay class, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through the different events of what someone would experience when they are sick, okay? So this is what would happen first, right? You're, you're gonna start to feel sick. You're gonna maybe have a stomach ache, have a headache, maybe start to sweat, have the, um, the chills, okay? So this is what the first event looks like, okay? You're gonna start to feel sick. Then the person who takes care of you, maybe uh, your mom or your grandma, they're gonna go ahead and address how you're feeling, okay? They're gonna ask you, what's going on? Do you feel warm? They're gonna maybe uh, take your temperature, have you lie down, okay? Then the next event, shows you at the doctor's, right? So first you feel sick, then you tell the person who takes care of you that, hey, I'm not really feeling so good. Then the person who takes care of you is gonna take you to the doctor if needed, right? Okay, so that's what happens next. Then if needed, you're gonna to have to go to the pharmacy with the person who takes care of you, okay? Or have them go for you. 
because you need an adult anyways in order to get that prescription medicine, right? So you're going to go to the pharmacy, have the person who cares for you to get that medicine from the pharmacy if needed. Then you're going to go home and take the first dose of that medicine that you need directed by the doctor. So we're going to take what the doctor tells us to take. And then a few days later, we're going to start to feel better. So this picture here shows you that this is not the right thing to do, right? How come? Let's look at it a little bit more. How come this is not the right thing to do or the healthy thing to do? Well, this is not the safe thing to do, right? Because we're taking medicine on our own. We do not want to take medicine on our own. We always need permission from a trusted adult, okay? From our parents, our grandparents, the doctor, the nurse, okay? So this is not the safe thing to do here, okay? So we do not want to take medicine when we do not have permission to take it. How about this one, okay? The adult here, pretend there's an adult trying to give her medicine. She's saying, no way, I don't want that, okay? Are we going to get better if we do not take the medicine that we're told to take, that we have permission to take to help us feel better? No, we're not going to feel better, right? So it's important to take medicine that you are given, right? That you have permission, okay? So you go to the doctor, they tell your mom, hey, she needs to take this medicine for a week. And then you get home, your mom tries to give it to you, and you do not want to take it. Well, we have to take that, right? Because our doctor directed us to take that medicine, because if we don't take it, we're not going to feel better, okay? So it's important to take medicine when we are given permission to take that medicine in order for us to feel better, okay? So if this was your friend trying to give you medicine, then yes, this is okay to say no, right? Okay, because we want to make sure that we're safe when we're taking medicine. We want to only take it from trusted adults who take care of us, right? Our parents, grandparents, doctor, nurse. Okay, class, so now what I want you to do, I want you to go ahead and grab a blank sheet of paper out, okay? And what I want you to do, I want you to remember those events that I just showed you, okay? First we get sick, right? Then we tell the person who cares for us that we are not feeling well, okay? And then they will take us to the doctor if needed, okay? And then what happens after that? Well, we might have to go get medicine at the pharmacy, okay? And then we're going to go home and take that medicine. And then we're going to uh, hopefully feel better, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and take that blank sheet of paper and I want you to take probably five minutes or so and draw out your own events when you are sick, okay? So they should be similar to what we just went over, okay? So I want you to number these steps at well, as well, okay? So step number one, you start not to feel good. Step number two, you tell that trusted adult that's in your life, okay? So go ahead and take five minutes or so and draw out these events when you are sick. And feel free to um, pause the video, but I am gonna give you five minutes, okay? But if you need additional time, you may go ahead and pause the video to continue to draw your events when you are sick, okay? So go ahead and start that.
So remember, you're drawing out the events that would take place when you are sick. Just try your best. And as you're doing this class, remember not to do the unhealthy thing, right? We don't want to take medicine without the adult that gives us permission to take that medicine, right? We never want to take medicine on our own, okay? And we also do not want to say no when our parents or our person who cares for us is trying to give us medicine, right? Because that medicine is going to help us feel better as long as we have permission to take it, okay? We need to take that medicine in order to get well. Okay, so I probably didn't give you guys enough time, but feel free to continue to draw these events out on your paper. And if you have time, if your teacher um, wants to give you more time, that it's fine. Uh, and go ahead and color these events. And remember that it's important to take medicine only when you have permission to take it, okay? If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to email us at scazzerprevention at gmail.com and we'd love to hear from you and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have an awesome day, guys. And Carmen thanks you for helping her understand today's lesson.